Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Um, I'm going to do something with this beautiful paper, digital, that I have from last year. I have a lot of pieces left over and um, I was inspired by Wendy from Wendy's Journal of um, Adventure. She made this kind of flip-flop journal. She did it with envelopes and I tried that and it just wouldn't work for me because she had like a square envelope up here and mine's pointed and it just lost too much and she can, it was quite a disaster. So then I thought, why can't I do the same thing with a manila folder? So that's what I decided to do. And I think it's going to work because we're gonna have a pocket here, right? And then we're gonna have a signature sewn in here. And then if you flip it this way, we're gonna have a signature sewn in here. And I think this is pretty similar to what she had with hers. So I think it's gonna work. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with what I did with this, if I can find another manila folder here. Um, I brought a whole bunch in, and what did I do with them? Don't you love that? You have something in your hand, and then two seconds later, you don't. What the heck did I do with them? Oh, they fell. All right. So, what I wanted to do was take the manila folder, and I know the whole thing's not in camera range. Let me um, see if I can pull this up some to get it. Just ignore my craft desk. It's a mess. All right, I think that'll work. So you can see a little more here. Let me bring that down. All right, so my paper is eight inches. So I want it less than eight inches. So I'm gonna make the folio seven inches high, which is this right here. And if I look, yeah, it's seven inches. So I also wanna cut off those um, edge pieces here so that it's all, um, it's all straight. We don't have that indentation. So it's gonna be seven inches high, which is gonna be this way. So I'm gonna bring it over to the seven inch mark and I'm gonna cut it. All right. So now I have a seven inch tall by however long the manila folder is. And it really isn't gonna matter so much. Um, it's just going to fit like this. So it may be a little dip different depending on the size of your um, journal. And you can see this is a little bit different than this one, but I think it's gonna be okay. What I think is important is to bring, see this edge with the three little indentations and then this is the hard edge. All right, and that's here. And if I flip it over, it's gonna be like that. That's the mountain, and then we have three edges, which is the same as this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold up the right-hand edge to meet that um, mountain right there, the crease that's, that's naturally there. And I'm gonna fold it over. And I also just have my bone folder here, but I don't see it. Here it is. And give it a nice, a nice press there. All right. So this is gonna be on the back. All right. And then this is the part that's gonna create this pocket in the front. So where that is, now I could do this with a um scoreboard and maybe I will this time. So I'm going to just bring it to the right of that line there. Make sure I don't cut it and actually score it. I'm going to score it there. And then that's going to fold over. I didn't feel like it was scoring. Let me just try that again. Maybe my, I feel like, yeah, that's not scoring. So something's wrong with that blade. 
I may have destroyed it at some point. So that's okay though. So I'm just gonna hand score it. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And I'm gonna fold this right about where that folds over. See, so it's pretty even back there. And it's pretty even like this. And I'm going to just um, score it along there. Now this is a little too long for the pocket that I want. All right, this is too long for the pocket that I want. So I'm gonna cut off about an inch from there. The other one worked out a little better that way. Okay. And then that's that. Now, of course, she had an envelope, so there was a flap here. Now, I don't have that flap, and I could either add that flap. Let me take off my sweater. I could add that flap in um, with another piece. I could bring it around here and add it in, or I could just leave it like this. And um, so I'm gonna put the notch in it just so you can see it right now. Uh, about halfway. I'm just eyeballing this. So that's going to be my pocket. All right, so I'm going to have a pocket on the front. When I open it, there's going to be a signature in here. That's going to be the back. And then when I open it this way, there's going to be a signature in here. So it's very similar, um, like I said, to the one, the tutorial that I watched from Wendy, except I don't have this flap. So maybe I'll try it on this one, because why not? All right, it's going to be, yep, it's exactly seven inches tall. So let me just use a piece of this. And um, bring this piece in here. So I want this seven inches, All right? So that's seven inches right there. And that's going to come over this. So I'm going to want it, I want to cover that notch. So I'm going to have to wrap this around. It's going to end up being over here. Does that make sense? Um, I'm going to take a pencil and mark. This is where I want a score line, but I'm going to need a flap to come over about there. All right, again, all I did was cut this seven inches. I lined it up on here where I thought it would cover. It's going to have to wrap around this. It's going to have to hook onto that, and so I'm going to need like a flap there. So this line right here um, is my cut line. So let me cut that up. I'm definitely gonna have to get a scoreboard now. Oh, I think I might've just solved the problem here. Let me see. And that's gonna be my score line. Yeah, I had some glue stuck there. So I solved my problem. I like when I do that. It's rare. <laughs> I get proud of myself. All right. So no measurement here, but if you want a measurement, this is two and three quarters. And then the score line is at one and three quarters. So if you want measurements, and I understand that, um, that's what it is. So then I'm gonna fold that here. And I'm gonna bring it around to my front and I'm gonna have to glue that. See, here's my, here's my envelope. This flap's gonna come down on top of it. So I'm gonna fold it around here and I'm gonna glue in here. And my glue didn't have the pin in it. So I'm gonna to have to look for my pin. Oh, I have so much Christmas stuff going on here that, yay, it glued. So I probably should have glued the flap, but I'm gluing this instead. And I'm going to glue right in here. All right, so that's the construction of the folio and it's pretty easy, honestly. Um, 
I don't have the envelopes to show you the envelope way. I don't have the correct envelopes. So I'm like, oh, I'll go to my dollar store and see if they have the right ones. No, <laughs> all right, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna use what I have and figure it out. <laughs> so here's the front. This is gonna be an envelope, right? That's gonna go down. And I'm actually gonna end up attaching a little eyelet right there to wrap the string around. When you open it this way, there's gonna be a signature tied in here. And when you open it the other way, there's gonna be a signature in there. And um, they're not the same signature places. If you see one's here and one's here. So you're not overlapping signatures. All right, so that's it. That's the folio base. So now it's time to decorate the folio um, base. And what do I need? Uh, I just turned around. Oh, I just turned around for a reason, and I'm like, what am I trying to grab here? I'm trying to grab something to glue. And I'm just going to use this magazine because I'm going to use um, I'm going to use um, glue stick. All right. So the first thing I'm going to kind of put a piece in is this whole um, inside of the pocket. So you're not gonna really see the whole thing. So I could really just go right here and over, um, but I think I'm gonna do the whole thing so I can flop it, flop it over. So I have to keep in mind, this is gonna be the inside, so I don't wanna put anything super fancy dancy on it um, because I have some really nice prints. The two are the same. Let's see what else I have. Just trying to use up some things I already have printed out and I have so much of this kit from last year it'll really work out pretty well I think. Here's another piece. Um, I have these pieces, I have tags, I have labels, look I have little pockets. Um, this kit in case you're wondering is from Pink Monarch Prints. I started a journal last year with it and I didn't like the cover, so I kind of didn't finish it, but I'm going to deconstruct it sometime and go with what I like. Here's a piece. I'm just trying to pull out some pieces of it. I'll show you this. This is almost embarrassing, but um, I don't like this, this sewn journal. It's just, it's not a feeling that I like, but I have all these signatures done that I do like a lot in here so I just have to come up with a different cover for this. Will it be this year? I don't know. Um, I can mix kits too with what I have but I do have a lot of this. So let's go with this and I think I might this is one-sided so I think I am going to just use this. And I'm going to have to cut down off the white pieces. And let me do this. So I'm going to construct it in one video and um, decorate it in, you know, a different one. Or add the signatures and then start decorating. Otherwise, the video is going to be way too long. And I don't know about you, especially during the holidays, my attention span isn't that great. That goes like that. All right, so I need to glue either the whole thing here. And I think that's what I'll do instead of the paper. Let me make sure I'm in frame and I am. Ah! Lid just fell on the floor. I'll make sure I get everything with the glue stick. And then I'm gonna come in with some art glitter glue on some, some pages, on some places. All right, this glue stick's had it. I do have another one, I'm pretty sure, unless this is the second one. Uh, let me put that aside and see. Nope, I do have another one. Fun. 
You know why the boys aren't bothering me? Because they're in the second bedroom where all the presents and stuff so far are, and they're getting into trouble. <laughs> I have a closet in there. Um, it's not really a closet. It has like a ledge on. That's where I keep all like my wrapping paper and, and this kind of stuff. Um, manila folders and envelopes. And I went in there to grab some manila folders and I got followed in. And I was like, have your fun right now because I thought being back here it would entice them. I'm just gonna put some glue around the edge. And here. Um, I thought it would entice them to come out of there, but they're not out yet. <laughs> they're like, we can get in the craft room anytime. Uh, no, you can't. All right, I'm gonna turn this over so that I get this kind of centralized here and I have enough to fold over the edges. All right, let me fold it back. Take the bag folder, kind of do that. And then I'm going to flip it over and get where I can. So I'm going to do what side? This side first. So that'll cover the edges. And even if you don't ultimately see this at the end, at least um, the edges will be covered. And I am going to ink. I know Wendy's not a big inker anymore. She used to be. Um, she likes the clean look right now, and I know we all evolve and change, And um, but I think I'm going to ink these edges. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to have to re-cut uh, my little knot. All right, so then this is, um, is going to pose a little bit of a problem here. So this is what I want to make sure is... I'm going to push it out. I'm going to push it out this way. Because one of the problems with the envelope was that once I started to fold it up, the paper kind of wasn't where it should be. All right. So let's see here. What do I have going on? I think this is the um, envelope. Yep. I'm going to fold that over. And then this folds back. How did I have that? What is wrong? What am I doing wrong? You're probably um, yelling at the screen going, oh, it's this way. Aha, that's what I'm doing wrong. This is the inside of the envelope. So we're folding it this way. And then this will be the part that folds down, right? Yeah, so this is the envelope. This is the part that folds over. This is our one journal spot and this is the other journal spot. So yeah, I'm just doing this inside part right now. If I can feel where my notch is, I guess I'll do that at the end because I still have to kind of glue that front. All right, so I do want to fold this up and fold this over. Let me find the corner here. I don't want to cut it off. So I just want it like that. And then I want this a little bit of a notch here and a little bit of a notch here. I only watched her video once, so God only knows if I'm doing it right. <laughs> and it's a very good chance that I'm not. <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is. And I think in the end, it's going to turn out just fine. And what I like is it's not going to be a carbon copy of somebody else's. And it's okay if it is. But 
I make this mine. And I'm going to like it. <laughs> like it or not. This is what it's going to be. All right, so that's that. And then I want to cut this off here. And this off here. Get a butterfly die out of the way. Uh, make sure I clean, get that under there. And then you can cut that little piece off, but I'm just gonna glue under it on, on top of it. So it'll be fine. All right, so that's that. And let me get it back to its proper place. All right. So that's the envelope. That's the flap, All right? Yep, there's the notch. So this is the envelope. This will be the flap that comes over. This will be that side, the back, flip it over, and that side. So you just have to keep playing around with it until you figure out what's what. All right, so I want to decorate this part of the front. And I do want a better garnish here. Now that it's proper. That's going to be the inside. And that's all you're going to see is this part of the envelope. But I want to do this part right here in something pretty because this is going to be the front. So let me go through. Do I want it to be stripes? Red stripes. It only has to fit. Is there enough of that? Mm. I don't think there's going to be. Just for safety's sake. Ooh, this is pretty. That'll be real pretty on the front. Yeah, I like this. So I think I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna cut, again, this white off the papers. A little bit more. it down here. Now there is a little bit, no, I think that's the way it's supposed to be, honestly. All right, so let me see how this is going to fit on. So it's going to go like this, and I just want it to be able to wrap around a little bit, maybe right there and on the back. So I think where that fold line is a good place to cut. So I'm gonna cut a piece here. All right, and that's gonna be my front. So it's gonna go here. It's gonna wrap around this some, and then it's gonna um, secure that and that, and it's gonna wrap around this back some too. So I think this time I'm going to glue the paper. All right, the wrong side. I do the wrong side, which is this side. I don't know if it's necessary really to glue stick and glitter glue, but I want it to be extra secure. So I'm going to glue stick that. This is my front. So I'm going to rub some, not rub, run some glue down the seam here around the edge, a little bit in the middle, and I'll deal with this in a minute because I need to make sure this is down right. So I'm going to turn it on the opposite side and lay it here, and hopefully I got a good place. Yeah, I think that'll work out okay. Make sure, make sure I'm in, in frame. All right, so that's like that. And I did come up at the corner some. Not at the corner of the fold. And 
more here. It's all stuck. And add some onto here. And then bring it over here. Right, so that way when it's folded, it'll give some in there. I should really let it dry a little before I try to fold it, but. All right, and then I'm going to bring it over on this side. Get some glue. All right, and this is gonna come up here. All right. You're not going to see that because that's going to be the inside of the um, envelope. But it'll give it a nice seam there on the outside. So then this will go like this. This will be the, the top, but this is the front of my, my folio. It could have probably come up a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It's still going to be beautiful. All right, I'm going to cut the corners here. Bring these over. I really wanted to make this, so I'm glad it's uh, turning out with the uh, manila folder. All right, I want to see what time I am at here. All right, I'm already at 26 minutes, so I'm just going to um, continue to cover these pages. I think you can see what I'm doing, right? So for this one, I'm gonna put a piece here, have it come over a little bit, then continue here, and the same thing with the back. All right, and I'll come on and show you um, the end result. But I'm at 26 minutes, I don't like super long videos, and um, I'm just gonna finish that up, and then I'll be back and show you. Okay, so I finished covering it, and this is gonna be how it goes, and I have a couple tips. Um, so this is gonna be the front, right? This is the pocket. I did recut the little notch. I don't know if it's at the same place or not, but all this is gonna be hidden because that's the pocket. All right, here's the inside part. Here's the back. If you flip it this way, here's this. All right, a tip, couple tips. You really do have to do section by section and overlap your paper where your folds go. Just do this really really smooth it out and then do that otherwise you're going to get like a lot of gaps in your paper and you don't want that all right other tip i put the paper down on the back that i wanted to match this but i had um then i folded over so it was pretty it looked bad so put your back paper on last i wanted it to be this paper but i didn't have another piece so i compromised and that's going to be my back so I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to let this whole thing dry for a bit. I'm gonna come along and then um, reinforce anywhere that maybe needs some more glue, like right in here. After it dries, I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'll um, glue down this pocket. All right, and then that's gonna be it until I find my signatures and cut them out, like my papers for the signatures. So I just really want this to dry for a while. And um, yeah, see, you want that very smooth there where you're gonna get gaps. But I like how it turned out. Um, it kind of looks collaged and I like the way it looks collaged with these fold overs. And honestly, once you get the signature in here, um, you know, it's gonna be like that. And um, you know, I can put a, uh, washi anything like that up in, in that area so i'm not worried about any of that so i'm going to let it dry for a while i'm going to ink around the whole thing and then at some point i'm going to glue my pocket down and then i'll be back for part two which is um, putting the signatures in okay have a great day see how that's kind of gapping there it's because it's not um smoothed out so you really have to just put the one section on get that down leave that open you know don't glue that down 
and then start pressing in. The problem is I had glue stick on everything, so it, it kind of sealed down before I wanted it to. All right, but it's going to be okay once it's all done and dry. I'm gonna come back, like I said, and check all the corners and uh, yeah, so then I'll go to step two. All right, guys, have a great day. I hope you like this. I think it's gonna turn out really fabulous. I think it's so pretty already. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, always appreciated. Questions, comments below. And of course, I think I'm eight away from a thousand subscribers. And I'll have a big appreciation giveaway at that point. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day, everyone.